Sly, I need your help getting a handle on the Contessa's encryption algorithm. I'd love to, pal, but I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, I'll explain it to you one piece at a time. See that security station? The guard nearby is responsible for its upkeep. I'm with you. First, I'll need you to pickpocket his key to the terminal. Sure, no problem. Then use it on the security station to set off the alarm. Hold up. You want me to set off the alarm? Yeah, set it off, then clear out as the guard's sure to come running. Once he sees that it's a false alarm, he'll input the code to turn it off. So you want me to take a picture of the code? Move to a safe place and get a clean shot of that digital readout. Should I hit all the security stations out here? That's right. Once I've got a large enough sample of the Contessa's codes, I should be able to crack her encryption algorithm. Uh, now, see, you lost me again. Just take the pictures. I'll handle the rest. Nice work. Now use that key to set off the security station. Okay, climb to a good spot where you'll be able to get a picture of the security code on the monitor.
Thanks to your recent efforts, we're ready to attempt a Murray rescue. I call this plan the Trojan Tank. Step one, we use the Contessa's keys to steal one of her tanks. I'll jump in and drive while you keep out of sight by crawling underneath. With some luck, the guards won't notice anything out of the ordinary and open the prison gates for us. We casually roll in, and then blast the security doors to Murray's cell block. Once inside, you'll need to improvise your way up to the guard control center and open the doors leading down to solitary confinement. Let's hope Murray hasn't cracked under the Contessa's hypnosis. Okay, Sly, I'm heading out for the tank. I'm inside the tank, increasing the ride height of the tread. There, that should give you enough room. Crawl underneath this thing and let's get moving. I can't see you down there, so try to keep up and stay out of sight. Approaching the prison gate. Let's see if they fall for it. Sucker! 
cars. You'd better get out from underneath the tank before I let loose with a turret. Okay, you're all clear. Head inside and I'll be right behind you. I'm having some trouble out of tank. Go on ahead, I'll catch up. Okay, Bentley, what's next? Well, that should be the guard's control center. But to be honest, I'm not sure how you're going to get up there. Don't worry about it. Thinking of my feet is what I do best. Most of the security went down when we cut the power on the bridge, but a few lights seem to have a backup generator. Be careful.
Okay, I'm running your algorithmic code decryptor. You see anything happening down there? Success! We've got access to solitary confinement. Hot stuff. I'm heading down. seen Murray like this. He's all twitchy and bug-eyed. You said Murray was being forced to eat spice, right? Yeah, he said he was feeling weird. Well, he's weirded out all right. I doubt he even knows we're here. Clearly, we're going to have to lure him out of that cell the hard way. The hard way? Those hypno boxes are designed to heighten the effects of spice, and he's already in an agitated state. So if we turn them all on at the same time, Murray's sure to become wildly hostile and probably break down. How do we turn on the hypno boxes? The power switches are all defended by laser barriers. When you get close, I'll hack the laser system from my terminal down here. That should give you access. Let's do it. Anything to help out old Murray. He's looking really bad. in the laser bear.
the switch to turn on the hypno box. What's that sound? Angry! Get gone! I'll take care of the laser wall. Hypno 
boxes are too strong for you to destroy with your case, try using Murray's attacks to take them out. When they're all offline, Murray should be jolted out of his spice range. Watch out! This heaven? Sorry, pal. You're no angel. Just take a few deep breaths and try to center your thoughts. Okay. What's with all the racket? I ought to... The weak-minded hippo is free! And he's got friends! Hmm. Perhaps it's time to reevaluate some life choices. I'm serious. I managed to keep this half of the clockwork heart safe. It was hard to hide from the con... Oh, Contessa! She's getting away! Murray, lift those crank bars so we can chase after her. I'm on it! No good head shrinker! Oh, come now, Murray. We were making such progress during our sessions. The only mental help that I need is to never be reminded of you again. Such displaced hostility. If you insist on getting angry, why not be psychologically productive and channel it at your so-called friends? I'm done talking with my mouth. Now I talk with my fists! Sorry, but our time is up. Away. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. With the three of us back together, she doesn't stand a chance. It was great! The gang had been reunited and it was all because of me! Even the van ride out of town was like a party. Murray had to pull over twice because he was laughing so hard. But despite all the jokes, I think something had changed. Since childhood, the three of us had never been apart. And our recent isolation gave us all pause for thought. 
Needless to say, we took a few weeks off before getting back to work. And for the first time in my life, Murray let me drive.